Welcome back everyone to River and Sea where last time we managed to kill some of the local insects and now it is time to find out what we need to do next. Records and histories of Moria will aid us if you can find them. The Great Big were a dreadful hazard and despite their efforts they will undoubtedly return in time but we can't spend over long dealing with this minor threat. To wholly wipe them out would involve resources beyond what I can provide. We must turn now to other matters, and defend ourselves from the returning Gridvig whenever we must. What I truly desire above all else is a chance to look at records and histories from the old days. Who knows what secrets lie untold beneath the dust, pages, tablets, and tomes to be found throughout the caverns of Moria. There should be storehouses located within the Great Delving of Moria, and they are thus named the Chamber of Knowledge, the Chamber of Wisdom, and the Chamber of Deep Thought. Well, that last one I think I've visited before. Find these storehouses within the Great Delving and search through the records for the old days. Return to me when you have found something from each area. Alright. So, last time I checked the Chamber of Deep Thought, all I found was a spider, but... Knows. I didn't exactly stay over long after doing that, so let's go and find the first of those, which I think I passed on my way here. Ah, yes, just on the other side of the bridge. I think this is one of the three chambers that I need. Well, if this is a chamber of knowledge, a lot of the knowledge has been lost over the years, but I supposed. That's to be expected. Hmm. Well, these scripts are legible. I guess that'll do. Now, if I read the descriptions right, the next one should be on the other side of the Dolvin view. I wonder if there's anything in here that'll be of interest. Well, not to the dwarf, at least. I think he said it'll be somewhere up this way if I read this properly let's see well we've got nasty ah hold on this looks like a knowledge repository a chamber of wisdom uh, let's see what's in this strong box hmm, a broken tablet within strong box with a description that can still be discerned okay well I guess uh, that'll help. Now, I guess to the Chamber of Deep Thought, which is way at the beginning. Ah, yes. This is the Chamber of Deep Thought. Now, let's see what I can find in here. Is it anything interesting? Does it have the answer? 42. Oh, well. Let's get back to the Chamber of Crossroads. Here are the records I found. None of this seems useful, friend. Except... Oh, now wait a moment! Oh, you did find something useful? Hmm... Yes, you might have found something here after all. Well, well, well. Oh, what'd you find? Let's see... And... What do I get here? Plus 31 agility. Hmm, not bad. This record tells of a mighty axe, Ziegelberg, forged at the heart of fire. Mm, yes, these pages mention something about a curious indeed, Pine Sea. An axe made entirely of mithril, light enough to be wielded entirely one-handed, but strong enough to fell a foe or rend any armor with a single sweep. Ziegelbert it was called, and appears to have been forged in Durin's time by one called Ongli. Hmm. I have not heard that name before. How can it be that one so skilled would be not be mentioned in legend? There is more to be here learned from these pages. Could it be that Ziegelbert might yet be found? My son Bori has been racked by grief ever since Broin has been slain before the doors of Deering. Bring him these pages and tell him of Ziegelbert. 
It will do him so well to have other thoughts upon his mind while he, for which to brood. Up, go to the stairs of the eastern side of the chamber, and through the door into the chamber of command. My son Bory is there, and Broger also. Okay, Broger and Brory. Brory. Bory are up here to so bring the pages to Bory. Oh, what exactly is said here? Blacksmith Ongli demonstrated his plan for a new weapon today. Such a plan would have anyone else laughed from the court. But he has the trust of Durin, and any demands that he makes are greeted with affection and all the resources he might desire. Had I such a patronage, I too might create works of such beauty and weapons of such might. Boy, is he bitter. The latest child of his largesse, an axe made entirely of mithril, so light it might be wielded one-handed even by a child of fifty, and so sharp that it might cut through all things with a single sweep. Ziegelberg! It is to be called, and it is the will of Durin that a special group of forges shall be built solely for its making. Even more insult, Ongli has always coveted his privacy, and the door to these forges will be hidden, only open through some trick. The trick will be recorded in Khatub Zahar, but that does me little good. I will not be given access to these forges, and my labors will continue to pale in comparison to those of Ongli. A curse upon the head of Ongli, and his secret forge, and that mithril axe that he will make there. May his works come to nothing, and his name never be remembered. Hrothi, who apparently ensured that that was true. Well then, let's go and show these to Bori. Hello there, Bori. How would you like to help me find an axe? Ruin would have loved to have seen this place. This is just the sort of adventure that he would have relished. Still, I may be able to help you, though my heart's not in it. It seems that the dwarf who sought to forge Gigobert relished his privacy. And by the grace of Durin, he was given a secret forge to which to work. Oh yeah, it's such a secret that it didn't get passed down. These pages do not reveal the location of the forge, but they do mention a trick of some sort that would open the door. The nature of this trick is lost, but these pages indicate that it was recorded in Khatub Zahar, the word horde of Durin. Khatub Zahar was once supposed to be on the eastern side of the Great Delving, somewhere north of the Great Statue of Durin. I am sorry, but there is little else for which to guide you. Find the location and return to me, and perhaps I can unravel some more of the mystery. Alright, fine. I will find it and return to you. I have no idea why I couldn't just tell him that I've been there before, since I have been here before. This broken plaque is faded, but still says Khatub Zahar. Yes, I know. I've been here before. Hey, anything in here? Any secrets? Yes, I found it. I think you have found the answer, friend. You found the location of Khatub Zahar, the word horde of Durin. I'm deeply impressed. It's a shame that your report tells of the great infestation of Deep Claws and Cave Claws. I hope that the bees have not ruined too many of the records and histories kept within the place. It seems that Ongli, the great craftsman who may have forged Ziegelberg, was very protective of his privacy. Durin granted him the secret forge to which to work, Nar Khalab, the heart of fire. The way to Nar Khalab was locked by means of some trick known only to a trusted few. These pages do not mention the location of Narkalab, but they do say that the trick of opening the way is kept in Katu Zahar. Now that you have found the word horde, you can search for the trick. Right, I can. 
We must find the Heart of Fire and the means to access it. If we can find both the location of the Heart of Fire and the secret to opening his doors, it could be the Ziegobert will return to us from the darkness. I will ask the other dwarves in our expedition if they have come across any sign of Narhalab. Perhaps someone has encountered some clue, though I'm not hopeful. You must return to Qatar Zahar and the word Horda Diran and search for the secret for opening the door. The deep claws that you found will not make it easy, but you're strong enough to deal with them. Katub Zahar is on, is on the eastern side of the great... Yes, I know exactly where it is because I've been there twice. Or if it's been there more than twice. I know, I'm losing count now. Technically, it only tells you to kill cave or deep claws within the Great Delving. It doesn't say anything about them having to be within here, though. I'm coming in here anyway, so there's absolutely no reason for me not to do it. Alright, so now. Right here. Ooh. Whee! Level 53. Anything in here? Nope. Oh well. This is gonna take some time. I'm running out of locations to search. So it looks like that we're not going to find anything here. Probably turn into nest linings or something like that. Doubt anything survived through here. <sighs> well, this looks like the last place. Hold on. Buried within the nest, you've discovered a rotting pages. Mentions. Did I actually find something? Perhaps I should try reading this first. By dare of Durin, use O is knowledge by those not permitted to its use is punishable by death or imprisoned. I guess the cement at the discretion. Let it be known that I use of these forges of Narcha is headed Tarhek are graded by permission of blacksmith only or Deeran himself or any others who within the in which this honor is either or oh, whatever. The door shall be hidden until the following steps are taken. One O oh, is it shall be hailed as a master of worthy of congratulation or to salute the stature of Duran's man and artist of no small repute. And two, the door shall be commanded to open as follows Bob Kanonzuhuk. I hope there aren't any letters missing in that one because. A lot of these pieces are faded. Well, maybe. Maybe Bori could read these better than I could. This must be it. The secret to accessing the Heart of Fire. Use of this secret to be opening a door seems to be punishable by death or... Yes. This door is hidden until... Yes, the word must be ongle, which means that this must be held as a master blacksmith or congratulated for his fine work. Saluted, I think. And Bob Canons. Uh, yes, yes, this is definitely it, Pine C. But still, we have no idea of its location. We now have the secret to opening the doors to the Heart of Fire, but not the location of the doors themselves. This is a frustration turn. <sighs> Speak with my Uncle Broger about this, if you would. He is busy, as usual, organizing the efforts within Moria, but he may have some idea that has eluded our consideration. Uh, Broger is wise and has a great store of knowledge on the old, old head of his. I would be happy to have him 
giving thoughts to this adventure as well, where his input is certain to be valuable. Oh, he's going to love this. Uh, hello there. I was wondering if you could see if you could figure out how we could find the Heart of Fire. I do not have time for riddles. There's too much to be done. My nephew's told me this wild goose chase fine sea. How can we be certain that this Nakhar Heled, this Heart of Fire, ever existed at all? We would have heard tales of such a force, surely. And Ziegelberg? An axe made entirely of mithril? Ha! <laughs> Ludicrous! This would surely have been featured in many of our tales before now, as all dwarves would sing the praises until the end of time. You would have been better luck catching a wild red-horned goat than you would in finding this ridiculous forge. This secret to opening the door that you have recovered is nothing more than a mad dwarf's mutterings. I take it then he doesn't think it exists. I have had an idea. What if the goblins have found a heart of fire? You will always have my respect for what you did before the doors of Durin, avenging my poor son with your excellent weapons. But I must be honest with you. I believe that you are wasting your time. As long as you will be traipsing around in the dark looking for flight of fancy forges, you might as well be accomplishing something worthwhile. There seems to be a large goblin presence among the silver teen loads far to the south and below the great delving. And as long as you are searching for this fabled heart of fire, you may as well slay goblins while you do it, especially the ones that have moved into Gabil Felic. The Elder Mine. The goblins are many, and bringing an ally or two might be a good idea. Yes, I call it my sword and my knife. Those are my allies. In fact, why not steal some of their old maps, right? They have long lived there in the darkness, and their crude maps may show you the way to this mythical forge of yours as well as being useful for those of us seeking paths that actually exist. Right. Got it. Kill goblins, steal their maps. In the... In the silver team loads. Okay, well, I knew I would be returning there eventually. If I'm going to go around killing goblins and the like, I might as well pick up a few other quests here. Hello? I doubt that Lord Balin still lives. This will be my head for sure. I was not supposed to send Flick out on any tasks, but he kept begging me. His father is leading one of the eastern parties of the expedition. If he knew that I let his son go out there and he never came back, they would probably throw me down one of these fissures here. I will never be heard from again, unless, of course, you could find him. You will be saving both my beard and if you managed it. Okay, I'll be saving your beard. And what else? We can only hope that Durin's bane sleeps deeply. You may wonder why we have come to this vast deep pine sea and scatter to the winds as we did. The silver teen loads are famous for being the first and primary source of true silver, or mithril as it is called by many. A large branch of miners have gathered for an expedition to search for the silver teen from head to toe, starting at the toes in its roots here. We have not had much chance to mine yet, as we are beset by dangers and missing dwarves and other mishaps. Would you care to do the honors of mining ore in the vicinity of the Deep Descent? Right, because you always get... You always ask a sailor to do all the mining! Because, I mean, you do plenty of mining in the water! <sighs> well, here we have Thetvar. Welcome to Casa Doom. Stay and speak with me a moment. If you're looking for tasks, we have plenty of them, I'd see. 
the most pressing issue is probably that of our closest neighbors. Stealing, one of our miners has sent back reports of a great goblin settlement too near to here, unfortunately. The name of the place is Gamil Filik, and you can find Stealing there making an assessment of the threat. Good, because I have to go to that place anyway, so just tell me where to go and I'll be there. Then head south from the deep descent, and then take the east path to the crossroads, and you shall find Stealing there. And that'll be near Gamil Filik, I will presume. Yes, I think that will be the case. Ah, now that that's settled, we can head out, which is what we'll be doing in the next episode of River and Sea.